So second uh, problem in the setup in FS uh, 2020 is what I just mentioned, which is the on-off switch box, which is, you know, as you have seen before, it's create uh, like the in a more uh, non -rewind, not rewind increment of the heading, altitude, and speed, right? If you use a toggle switch, but actually inside FS 2020, there is a, a, a setting where you can use a toggle switch as is, you know, you, you can use like a light switch, uh, like set strobe, meaning that uh, it, it will depend on the toggle switch position of the, of the switch uh, to, to light, uh, to switch on or switch off the strobe uh, light, right? So it's very convenient rather than using a push button to toggle the the light switch where you don't know if it's on or off in the physical switch, right? So it's very difficult to do that. But the problems created by using a set function directly in uh, in FS2020 is creating that issues of the, uh, you know, uh, not rewind increments of the rotary switch, especially uh, in the FCU panel that you created. If you don't use a DIY panel or any other panel, or even any brand actually, Trustmaster or Logitech or whatever, or SciTech, if you use uh, a rotary switch or a physical switch to rotate certain functions, especially in the FCU panel, it will have a problem, right? If you use a toggle uh, switch setting. Yeah, so that's uh, not only for your DIY, but also happen for any controllers. Now, how to overcome that? So, to overcome the use of toggle switch directly in FS2020 setting, you have to move the setting outside the, uh, the direct setting in the control panels. So, unfortunately, you cannot use toggle switch despite it is allowable. Uh, it is allowed in FS2020, you cannot use it directly. So then how? Then you, you, you can use FSU IPC uh, as the intermediary, right? So what happened is that, so you can see if you use a toggle switch, this will happen, right? Uh, knob switch on the speed, as you can see, it's increasing not 6 to 7, but actually ton not, uh, 10 knots also and 10 degree in, in the heading and altitude becoming 1000. It cannot increase and decrease by 100 anymore uh, using physical uh, rotary switch, right? So that's what happens. To prevent this, then you have to use uh, kind of like a simulating temporary switch, like a push buttons of keyboard, but through FSU IPC. So what happened is that the toggle switch was, was uh, simulating a uh, a position is it is not ideal or actually if there is a, a command uh, like if if the set command is available in FSU IPC it's also solved the problem so you don't have to simulate the toggle switch right but if not some lights for example some light switch in FS uh, 20, uh, in FSU IPC unfortunately is only available in toggle modes and at this moment, so uh, I, I hope uh, Pete uh, Peter will come up with some variables that we can use set rather than toggle, right? Uh, if there's a, only a toggle, then you can only like imitating the toggle switch. It is uh, a temporary solution, I guess. But if there's a set function inside uh, FSU IPC variables, you can use that without creating uh, these bugs without creating this box. I, I can show you with the gear uh, gear function later on. Okay, so let's, uh, let's uh, this one is the example, especially for the spoiler arms and on, and gear up and gear down. Uh, I have a physical uh, switch for this one. Uh, this one uh, is using a micro switch in on position and what another micro switch in on uh, off position like gear down positions uh, for spoilers and ar uh, arm spoilers I'm going to show you later on uh, the physical uh, what do you call it uh, switch and how I program it uh, in FSU IPC so by using this these two 
despite this is actually a uh, continuous uh, supposed to be, if you set this one inside uh, Microsoft uh, Flight Simulator directly it will create the one that I've just show you uh, in the log sheet which is creating uh, sending a control event all the time and if it here is creating sending all the time similarly even in the off position is sending all the time and sending on the uh, especially sorry in the in this one is okay because it's only on on this one is this is off but this one is actually a two position on on right on here on there uh, in down position also that's it two on switch and uh, this is two uh, this is only one on off so during on it will send a lot of event right this one is uh, uh, yeah so that's what happened so how do I set, set it up so I will uh, t uh, show you directly uh, in uh, in FS, uh, FSUI PC. So I'm going to show you from the gear uh, lever first uh, because it's easier. You can see here this is my gear lever. It's a two position. This is on here and this is on also. This is, uh, let me adjust the camera. Okay. So you can see here I can zoom it out a bit. I think okay so this one is on you see in the in the event lock up there and it's in on position so similarly actually it's sending uh, gear up and gear down command so for gear da uh, for gear lever it has a gear up and gear down command or variables so this one is gear down and this one is gear up you can see in the in the parameter being sent it's a toggle but it has two command uh, okay so using this as you can see already in the gear up position just now right when I showing you in the previous uh, setting for my panel up here it doesn't uh, it doesn't create a problem uh, compared to the switch the the, the EGT for switch that I created uh, specifically for the for the setting right so if you can see here this this one is a toggle on off switch that I intentionally created an event ID of the on position right for this one it will create a problem right for, but for this one it won't right so that's that's uh, the difference between uh, if this one is setting directly inside Microsoft uh, Flight Simulator not using FSUI PC this one if uh, if you want to see in the control here uh, I can show you uh, where's my controller here right FD panels let's collapse assigns and uh, I think it's here here set AGT this button okay so you can see uh, that's the button that I created directly this is using set command here set meaning that whenever position is on it will set something right if it's off uh, it won't send a command so I think that's the, how come um, anyway it has to be sending an event here uh, probably because I was in pause mode but I, I have shown you this one so let's go back into the let's say to the uh, you can see here it will sending a lot of event but here, uh, I will lower the gear for a while. You see, uh, the event stopped because I stopped this uh, switch. Uh, but if I pull this sound down, it's only sending one event, and still I can rotate it by one degree here on the heading. You see, it doesn't, you know, affect the setting of my controller. I can pull up the gear you can see in the screen the gear is pulled up and still it doesn't affect this one so that is the beauty of using FSU IPC uh, for uh, always on switch this one is always on in the up position this one is always on in the down position you can do that 
similarly to the other switch including this arm spoiler or any other switch you know including later on we're going to discuss the engine start switch from the Thrustmaster TCA quadrant okay that that is also uh, always on switch on off switch so if you switch on the engine it will stay on you see um, here you can see uh, it is not simulated yet uh, because I, I don't use this at this moment but I'll show you when we are in on the ground uh, later on so this one also on off right if you do that directly in the sim use uh, I mean it's working now uh, by default uh, from uh, Microsoft initial in internal like uh, setting I mean it's by default if you uh, if you purchase this and you install it uh, Microsoft simulator will recognize that uh, setting right so if I go here let's see where is it here I'm using uh, my custom profile but let's say we go uh, sorry uh, default profile you hear it's already configured for you right so a set engine full valve fuel valve and master engine crank uh, sorry starter one blah 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 so at least four uh, if I remember there's a four uh, button actually being uh, set there let me find the graphic here for you uh, being set by Trustmasters, here you go. Okay, so here if you can see uh, it's toggle engine for this switch is toggle engine one fuel valve, set start of one, set engine fuel one fuel valve and toggle engine. This work, okay. If using this one it works. But I'll show you how I set up in FSU IPC only with only toggle function. Okay, not even set a stutter. So I, I it, and it works only two command but it requires two command at least to to make it works okay here if you set it directly here it will need four command like this okay so uh, also for the start engine number two okay I'm gonna discuss this later on so okay so that is uh, the the setting here and uh, let me go back into the the issues oh let me check did I change it because if I change it then I will not be able to use I hope where is it uh, oh see. okay a320 okay so that is my pro uh, my specific profile for this one Okay, so this one is uh, later on we're going to discuss. But now you know how to set up the gear. Uh, this uh, I use a on-off switch here. I'm going to show you. I think I'm going to show you now. Uh, let me show you the here is the but the, the switch like this one is down. If you can see, there's a change uh, spoiler arm off, and if I pull spoiler arm on in the lock uh, lock screen right so this one is using a uh, old style um, car lamp switch you know the old uh, old car back there uh, back then not using you know handle kind of switch in the near the st steering wheel right they use a push pull switch so i modified that for this one so inside a pretty repainted one so I still can do uh, uh, yeah uh, speed brake but this one is arming the auto auto speed brake okay spoiler auto spoiler okay so ground spoiler so when you land it will automatically uh, open okay so that is the push pull and this one is the also on with in the off position because I don't use it initially when I took off. Uh, yeah, like this brake also, but unfortunately the parking brake don't have a parking brake set or on off, and there is a set actually. But anyway, uh, I haven't really changed this into something else. So I will probably change into other things. 
uh, later on uh, but yeah so this one can also use that function this one that's it and of course the the what do you call it the gear up and down okay other switch I don't have any problems so that is number two problems that we have just solved using FSU IPC uh, while maintaining the the switch for the uh, this panels to be functional uh, um, you know we, without being affected by the the gear so using that fun uh, setup I don't uh, I can still use this one uh, refine uh, increment uh, without being affected by this previously you know it won't work uh, if I set up this one directly I mean I can set this gear up gear down directly inside uh, FS2020 using the control setting but yeah this one will not function okay so this is how I circumvent the issues okay so that is step uh, um, setup number two that we just resolved okay so let me set up for number three 